The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. After all, you are our father. If Abraham will not own us, if Israel will not acknowledge us, you, Yahweh, are our father. Our Redeemer is your name from of old. Why, Yahweh, do you let us wander from your ways and let our hearts grow too hard to fear you? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. We've long been like those you do not rule, people who do not bear your name. Oh, that you would tear the heavens open and come down. In your presence, the mountains would quake. In our response from Psalm 80. Over Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, rouse your valor and come to our help. God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be safe. Protect what your own hand has planted. They have thrown it on the fire like dung, and the frown of your rebuke will destroy them. Never again will we turn away from you. Give us life, and we will call upon your name. God, Sabaoth, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be safe. And our second reading is from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm continually thanking God about you for the grace of God which you've been given in Christ Jesus. In Him you've been richly endowed in every kind of utterance and knowledge. So firmly has witness to Christ taken root in you. And so you are not lacking in any gift as you wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will continue to give you strength till the very end, so that you will be irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. You can rely on God, who has called you to be partners with His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus said, be on your guard, stay awake, because you never know when the time will come. It's like a man traveling abroad. He has gone from his home and left his servants in charge, each with his own work to do. And he has told the doorkeeper to stay awake. So stay awake, because you do not know when the master of the house is coming, evening, midnight, cockcrow, or dawn. If he comes unexpectedly, he must not find you asleep. And what I am saying to you, I say to all, stay awake. The Gospel of the Lord.